she was gorgeous and I and I didn't want that but at half past nine it broke Michael Jackson had passed away same day google it you'll find that is fact half past ten hour after that broke I had 50 if not more jokes on my phone all about Michael Jackson and his passing now some of them I thought were quite funny I laughed at some I thought were bang out of order one I told the same day and to be fair nothing to do with his passing uh, the one about the two paramedics it went to his house and one said to the other what should we do first and the other one said I don't know about you but I'm getting on the Ferris wheel <laughs> <laughs> now some of you are a little bit unsure how to react to that which is fine but I'm now going to explain why that ain't a tasteless joke by explaining uh, what happened after that when I told that joke that night. So a woman come up to me at the end and she, she went into one. She said, you were bang out of order. I said, for what? She said, doing a Michael Jackson joke. I said, to be fair, I didn't tell a joke about Michael Jackson. She said, you did. I said, I didn't. I told a joke about two paramedics that went to his house. I never said when. Now the Ferris wheel was nowhere near the hotel in which he passed. So I couldn't have been referring to the events of today, but you're here for a row. So we'll have one. <laughs> I said, where were you when Michael Jackson was in court with the allegations of what he allegedly had done to children? You, along with the rest of them, hiding in the woodwork. <laughs> But now he's passed away, you're out of the woodwork, jumping on the bandwagon, and now you're having to go at me. Well, whatever you say, Michael Jackson was a great singer. I said, be honest, love, Fred West was not a bad builder. <laughs>